Welcome to Wario World indeed! Hello everyone, Chris Scooter here. And welcome to a redub of sorts of my original Wario World Let's Play I did back when I first got my very first capture card. Ah, uh, upgrading from the Dazzle has never felt so nice. But we're not here to talk about how I'm doing. Let's talk about how the game's doing. Wario World, one of my... Well, I want to say it's probably one of my favorite GameCube games, just because it stars Wario. Man, I have not played this game in forever. Now I gotta remember what it is. Okay, I'm gonna erase that one, because I need a backup file. <laughs> in case things crash, but... Like I said, Wario World, one of my favorite GameCube games. And ha I actually have an interesting story involving this game that I would actually like to tell a little bit, but um, we'll talk more about that a little bit later on. For now, Let's go ahead and get started on our adventure. Okay, indeed. God, my warrior voice is off center as all heck today. And welcome to Wario World. Man. This game looks so much better now that I've upgraded. Hi, Wario. How's it going? <laughs> anyway, I should probably, probably go, go over a few of Wario's controls while we're here. Go ahead and make our way to World 1. Left analog stick moves you. Uh, for most part, you, you're the, the, for the most part, the C stick just transitions the camera left or right, kind of like the L and R buttons in Super Mario World. A is jump. Uh, a and shoulder button is a ground pound, like it's kind of become in a lot of Wario games in time being. Uh, kind of like a lot of Mario based games in the time being. B is punch, and we'll get into more punching mechanics as time goes on. And if you hold R, or if you hold B after a punch, you do, you do the infamous shoulder charge. Which, God, it's so great to hear that voice. Anyway, re re read a sign. Or you have to punch signs to read them. So these are all things we will be doing throughout each level. Either fight a boss. Well, well, we need to fight the boss. That is the bare minimum requirement we need to beat the game. But we're going for 100% clear on this game. So we need to get all the heart fragments, which means we need to nab the pieces of the gold Wario statue you saw in the very beginning of the game. And then get back Wario's cool stuff. Which that will unlock something else later on that I, due to my technical limitations, won't be able to show off in this project. But here we go. So he said it for me. But like I said, it's 100%. But we're still going to keep it to my normal time frame. I usually keep all my stuff to. Sorry, music's a little loud in my ear. God, this song. <laughs> God, I love every this game so good. My good memories about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Did I mention my press? Okay, I didn't. Also, I gotta make sure my headphones are. <laughs> I thought I had my headphones on backwards because there is something you can screw up pretty easily here. Anyway, Wario will automatically latch on the ladders. You don't press any buttons; he'll just do it on his own. Ah, yes. 
So, Wario fighting enemies. Norm one punch will knock out most enemies, but if you can manage to pick up something, if you can manage to knock out an enemy, like this, or pick up a heavy object with B, you can do a couple of things. Doing a ground pound will do something like that. And we'll do something like that and do a lot of damage, which also here comes the point of ground pounds and whatnot. I guess your punch will switch us. Didn't even think about that. We're learning new things here today. Anyway, pounding, hitting a switch like that will cause a coordinate corresponding chest to appear. Punch it open, grab it. And this is what will happen when you gather all your jewels back. Collect all your, collect the treasures to activate games, transfer your Game Boy Advance. This game came out roughly around the well, I think either just shortly before or roughly around the same time that WarioWare Mega Micro Games for the Game Boy Advance came out. And this game actually had a little bit of that built into it to be like, uh, hey, here's a tech demo. Here's a tech demo of this game we made. Maybe you'll like it. Okay, the sound positioning is a little backwards. Like, the game made it sound like that thing was is on the left side of the screen. And Wario's on his own right now. Wario, hi, I've been waiting for you. I want to spray things in the forest. I have really bad news. The evil black jewel you, you stole is sucking up all the negative greed energy swirling around in your castle. Terrible things are happening in the forest, honest. So just telling you about that. Now, uh, but those spritelings are actually going to be what you need to get to the best ending in the game. So not only do you have to gather all of the, the statue pieces and all of your treasure back and defeat all the bosses, the, bare min the, the bosses of the Baron thing, gathering up all the spritelings is, is, for the most part, how you get your perfect ending. Now, do you hear that shimmering? It's coming out of the wrong side of the screen right now. But that shimmering means that right there. I may actually have my connections up, set up backwards. But gathering the gold fragments will do something good for us. Now, something else with large enemies. With large enemies, drop them, pick them down. Now, if you swirl, twir twirl the control stick around for a little bit after you pick up, you start doing this, this little spin move here. And you press left trigger to suck up coins, but... You can do a spin move, and which and which direction you spin the controller will actually influence. Excuse me, which direction you spin the controller will actually influence which way it goes. Because I said I, I think I did clockwise there, so let's try and do counterclockwise. And you can press B to release the enemy early. Early. There you go. How the I found that vacuum suction. Doesn't that just make you happy? All right, and one last thing. Grab enemy. If you hold B, you can throw an enemy! Now, for the most part, your major focus is to try and... <clears throat> excuse me. Your major focus is going to be to attempt to... try and rack up as many coins as possible by taking large enemies and throwing them at small enemies in one way or another. Yeah, give me that treasure! And... Let's do more spin, because the spin is like my favorite thing to do in this game. Oh, he didn't say his best line. Wario has one line in this game that I absolutely love, and man, whenever it comes up, I get giddy, because he ha this line has never been uttered ever again in a Wario game, but it's like the best line. Oh, that's bomb. So there's a lot of mechanics here that I'm going through in this first episode, but there's even more that I'm not showing off, but... Poles, jump onto them, or you'll grab on. You can press left and right to swivel around. And as you swivel around, Wario will go to that proper side, press A to jump, and press A to jump off of them. Okay, right, my things are backwards. <laughs> That's gonna mess with me later on, I will tell you that right now. I should actually look at my connection, maybe for the, my next uh, little setup recording session I have, but... I could probably fix it. In, I probably could fix it for you guys so it doesn't sound bad. I'd have to actually like sit down and listen to it. Give me them coins. But these coins are important for something else later on. Hold on, let's break this guy out. Listen, eventually you're gonna have to deal with the stone doohickey that sits at the goal. To get rid of it, you're gonna have to collect a certain number of red diamonds. Below every, every underground hatch is a cell level that holds one. Jump and then press R button to ground pound. You can crash through most gates this way. There are some other gates that require you to do a little more than that to break it open. Oh, oh, he's doing this on his own. Hello, gate triggers. Garlic, Lou loves garlic. Delicious garlic restores health. 
Listen, you big oaf. You've got if you've got the courage to take me on, I guess it's okay to sell you garlic. Basically, it's basically saying that if you're if you're okay with punching a dude, you get free garlic. Which I do like garlic, but how this guy works is he charges exponential amounts, so to say. You punch him, okay, he charges you a twenty for a piece of garlic that recovers half a heart. You punch him again, he charges he might still charge twenty. Then he starts charging thirty and forty and sixty and eventually it gets up to like 120 so you're rewarded you're rewarded for keeping your money for being more skilled at the game anyway these underground things he's talking about some of them are puzzles some of them are simple I may actually refer to my old my old let's play to remember how to do half these puzzles but half them half of them will have gold pieces underground but you're after these red crystals oh yeah and underground is like the only time in these areas in the it's like the only time you can move the camera. And you can move it in a static direction with the C-Stick. Either one of eight directions or above you and below you. Now, how do you keep track of what you need or what you need to get? Pause menu. Get used to this grading music, by the way. Basically, how you'll be able to track your progress is well in the upper left-hand screen there. Or right on the screen in general. How many statue pieces you've collected... The, the crystals you need and how many crystal and how many crystals you need to get in the level well as you're indicated by those silver pedestals yeah those silver pedestals indicate how many red crystals you have to get to finish the level and in the well yeah and then how many treasures you have and then your emblems you saw in that slime post outside also this is actually kind of thanks to the folks at Digino gaming this is a common known fact at this point but if you sit here for a total of like, well, I've already been doing this for like two minutes at this point while explaining this, but if you sit here and endure this for another 50 minutes, Wario will come on and he'll just go, sorry. And then he'll leave you, and then he'll leave you alone. He'll he'll stop going, yeah, 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 yeah. Gimme. I kill fools in my spare time. Money. Delicious money for Wario. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. I love this game. Stupid simple. But like I said, I'm gonna kinda keep to my my original playtime that I had when I first played this game. Oh yes, never to mention Wario will grab on will automatically grab on the ledges if you're close enough. Man. This music though. This music is full of nostalgia. I love how the war okay. It, just in my opinion. With the Wario Land games like this, they they are there's something to behold, but something with them that oh crap hold Grandpa Grandpa needs to get an extra high jump. Oops. Uh yeah I know about the dash tech thank you. They're tell really okay well I'm gonna go left first because it's explored but I forgot I was saying about the Wario Land games or the war okay Wario in general. So the thing about Wario at this point in his life in his life cycle, so to say, is this was right about the point when Wario was starting to transition from being just a rude, crude dude. Uh, punch one, get me up here. Awesome. But Wario was starting to transition from being a rude, crude dude. Oh God, the Wii was having trouble handling this. Yeah, I should mention I'm actually playing this on my Wii right now, so because Wii supports GameCube titles. It cannot handle that much coin. It cannot handle that much corn. Anyway, um, I guess I'm just doing this to get as much profit as possible. General thing for Wario, but yeah. W at this point, like at this point, in Wario's life cycle, he was still about being rude and crude and being a, well, I'll just say it flat out, being a dick. But. He was, he was slowly transitioning from being that to what we all know today as a disgusting individual that we love to hate. We still love to hate Wario originally, too. Wario is something you love to hate. There's, like, no question about this. Anyway, this will take a while while I just clean up this place. I could... Like... I could say for the sake of the video, I should just cut forward. But I'll just tell you, if you don't want to do it, there you go. There's your, your red coins in there. 
Anyway, I should just cut four, but I mean, I think we're close enough to wrapping this up now. Just a few more, just a few more coins to get. And as you're seeing here by some of the prowess, we'll call it prowess because I don't know of a better word for it. But you can jump and punch. It helps your collecting much, it helps your collecting along. Sorry, you're just going to have to deal with me. This is, this is how you play a Wario game. I'm just going to tell you flat out, this is how you play Wario. You don't move fast. You play meticulous. You play meticulously, you get every little thing that is available. Dang it. I'm focusing way too hard on just getting a few coins. Thankfully, a lot of these underground areas won't be like this, so this is like one of very few times I'll be like this, or just like, ah, I must have every coin. I think I mentioned that. I mentioned that while I was on like a, while I was on somebody's stream a couple days or a couple days ago. But like, my warrior voice, my warrior voice used to be pretty spot on, but now it's gotten to the point where unless I start off the sentence by saying "wah," I cannot do his voice properly. It's that kind of voice that just generally just grates at your throat and makes you makes it so you're not allowed to talk properly for the next few days. But even with that, I love doing the voice. Wario, Wario, rather Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet did a fantastic voice with War. Fantastic voice. Fantastic job with Wario. And I mean. It's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of hard if he ever has, whenever he has to eventually stop. Because I mean, God, I just got morbid really fast in like the first episode. <laughs> it's gonna suck whenever he has to stop being the voice of Mario, Wario, Louis, all that stuff. Because we're gonna have to go back to a time of dark age of sorts when, like, nobody knows how Mario speaks or how he's supposed to speak. And even though the game, even though it will have official dialogue or official like bases, nobody will be able to replicate that purely. Anyway. Hey, what's good? I'm coming. Coming for whatever booty you got. Yo, that's my man Wario. Come here, give me this. Now, some stuff, how the game kind of wants you to handle it, is that... Oh, God. How the game wants you to handle it is with some things you're supposed to throw enemies at it. You can just jump and punch it, but what's the fun in that? What's the fun in jumping and punching things when you can hurl a body at it? Alright, now I believe my treasure is this one right here. Yep. So anyway, yeah, I'm bleh. there's a lot of there's a lot going through my brain and too much of it at once. Now a lot of things. Unless I like point out specifically, I will just I will tell you guys flat out that I will tell you guys flat out that unless the game unless the game like is forcing you to backtrack, which I'll show you how you backtrack probably next episode. But unless the game specifically forces you to, to like locks you out of an area and for, then forces you to backtrack, always go back to where you originated from and then return straight down straight from there. Just it's a good rule of thumb to have while playing this game. Cause that, cause if you don't, you miss some treasures like this. I remember when I initially did this project, I met, I like walked around my treasure for an hour. All right, I think one last underground area, and we'll call it good for today. Well, this one. Um, let me look up here. Okay, this is the one where I just have to punch out enough where I can climb up. Come here, coin. Don't run for me. Also, I probably shouldn't scratch my face while I'm like mid recording. So you punch out one more of those. And can I jump high enough to reach it? No, one more. And I guess this kind of get this area is kind of gives you a basis for how high Wario can jump. And I have screwed up the puzzle. Wario can jump three blocks high. Well, he can grab at three blocks high. <laughs> nope, that's too high. I gotta re-enter. Thankfully, if you screw up a puzzle, all you gotta do is hit this spring. You get you get your lovely butt pop back out, and you just go right back in the hole. Also, the hole's glitched just a little bit. Anyway, so only... I'm going to say only one punch there. One punch! Let's see. Let's see, two punches there, and I think three, four punches on the last one. 
Yeah, that's probably about it. And then I'll get all the coins in a second here. Alright. Jump from one to two to this one to that one. There we go. Also, garlic. If I hadn't mentioned it before, garlic is Wario's favorite food. So, garlic will heal him. Uh, I can respect that. Garlic is delicious. It just, well, for me at least, has to be mixed with something. I don't eat raw garlic. But garlic's delicious, man. Alright, let's pop out of here. And actually, I should stay in the hole now, I think about it. Because, any well, enemies won't bother me. So, everybody, I do want to thank you all so much for watching the first episode of War of Wario World Redo. I would like to join you all. I would like to have you all join me back here next time. Well, when I eh, when I'll go through. Do not. When I'll actually go through the rest of this level and finish it up. So thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you then. Thank you.